Hey, good morning. It's Jason here again at Fraser Valley Rose Farm. I'm down here in the basement doing some work towards a video on roses from seed from beginning to end. I want to give you a video on the complete process and I'll be doing that in the spring. But one of the steps I'm doing towards that video uh, is about collecting roses from seed, cleaning those seeds and readying them for stratification. And I thought because it's so timely, I would show you some of those steps right now. So it really does begin with that first step. If you have roses in your field and you want to try growing those from seed, you can go out into the field and collect the rose hips. Look for well-ripened hips that should be red or yellow, uh, not the green hips if you can help it. The other thing that you can do with them or you should do for them at the same time is label them. Make sure you know which ones are which. The next step is that you take those rose hips and you throw them into a glass. Um, now you can do this fresh, like right now when you harvest them, or you can do it later after they're dried. It makes no difference. The step is the same. You throw them into a glass, you cover them over with water, you mash them around a little bit, maybe with a, uh, a spoon uh, or with your finger, try to get them mashed up a little bit, and then you leave them to sit for a day or two. And what you end up with is a mash that looks a bit like this. It still has the seeds in there, it still has uh, some of the pieces of the hips and the pulp and all that. I'm going to show you how to separate out everything there. So what you have left is clean seeds that you can either store dry or you can continue on to the stratification step that I'll be outlining in my other video. All right, this is what I have here. I still have a spoon in the cup. And you can see, if I pull it out here, that there's a mixture of the rose hips the seeds, the stems, any debris that I brought in with them. There's also a whole bunch of seeds at the bottom. So I'd like to separate this out. And the only other piece of supplies you'll need is just a little wire mesh strainer like this. Uh, there's nothing complicated about this. It just may take a little bit of repetition. Uh, rinse out the jar. And now you can see that a whole bunch of the seeds have already separated out. And that there's some hips that haven't fully broken down. So what I'd like to do is take some of the ones that have broken down or some of the pulp that's already separated from the seeds. There's plenty of seeds in here, so I don't have to worry if I'm actually pulling out some seeds with the pulp. If you were... Uh, dealing with something you had fewer seeds of, you might want to be a little more careful with this step and preserve more of the seeds. But for me, I'm going to do a rough job of just pulling out the loose pulp and I may take some seeds with me for that step. Next thing here, just run some water over it and see how much I can work through the wire mesh just to get that debris out of there. Okay, next, I'm gonna get that spoon back here. Take these seeds out of the mesh and put them back into the glass. Great, let's clean the mesh here. Stir it around, and now you can see, or I hope you can see, that there's a whole bunch of seeds right at the bottom of this, and then there's some other ones that are floating on the top. It's hard to make any really good assumptions about the viability of the seeds based on the ones that are floating and the ones that are sinking, although I have to say that in the past I've found that when I grab some of the ones that are floating, and crunch them around in my finger, I find a good percentage of those to be empty or hollow, not having a seed inside. And because I have so many at the bottom and don't need to preserve every single seed, I'm gonna be a little incautious here and just pour off those ones on the top.
like I say, nothing complicated here. Just a lot of repetition if you want to try to get really good clean seeds. Stir around. Now the water here still has debris floating around in it. And at the bottom, we have those seeds settling. So once again, I'm just gonna pour off to get that debris out of there. And stop when I'm getting to the bottom where I'll be pouring out seeds. One more time, a good stir. And to see what I'm seeing here, I still see, and I hope you can see this on the video, some little black pieces of debris in there. So I'm gonna pour off the water. One more time, trying to get rid of those. Good, let's return to the strainer. For good clean seeds, I'm gonna do one more push through the strainer. And depending how fussy I'm being, I can stick those back in the jar or the glass and pour it off a few more times. In this case, what I think I will do is I will just go ahead and dry these. Now to do that step, you just want to spread them out. You can do it in this, or you can put it onto a piece of, uh, let's say, paper towel or a coffee filter or something like that, just to let them dry out. After that, make sure you label them right away and uh, you can store them dry. Uh, it doesn't have to be cool or anything like that, just dry in a, like a Ziploc bag and just make sure you've labeled them. All right, that's it for separating the rose hips from their seeds and having the clean seeds for storage or for continuing on to stratification. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you have any questions, drop those below the video.